Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. I'm here with the bro. Me and Jared are back out on another mission. Uh, a new piece of water for me, and somewhere Jared has found earlier in the season with JP. Not much to say, really. We've done a bit of a bit of a walk in. Yeah, so really, um, I've just been sat here trying to think of something to say for the last couple of minutes. I don't really know what to tell you. Um, we're going to get our gear ready. It's five weight country. I'm running through what I'm using. Hopefully some dry droppery stuff going on, maybe some dry flights, and a good time. Let's go. Okay, like I said, five weight country. Mainly it's gonna be dry droppery stuff today, I'm guessing. Maybe some light nymphing, but I don't know, doubtful. I'm gonna run the Helios 3 five weight F with that cool kind of olive color. And this is just a mean rod for this kind of water. Kind of small, overgrown, dry droppery. It's the perfect rod. And then on there, I'm gonna run the Mirage LT size two reel in, yeah, olive, kind of similar kind of olive. And then on there is Scientific Anglers, Amplitude Infinity Smooth Camo Line in a five weight. To a seven foot floating poly leader for more of this down to a tippet ring and then we'll build our leader off of that. We don't need a massive long leader in here. I'd say maybe 12 foot will kind of do it, to be honest. So we'll run some three X off the tippet ring. Oi, easy tiger. So I'm gonna double Davy knot my 3X to the tippet ring. And this is the absolute supreme fluorocarbon tippet from SA. Take it into the hip pack. And we'll go maybe seven, gonna eight, nine, ten, maybe like four feet, four and a bit feet of 3X. Then we'll add like, I don't know, that much 4X off of the back of that, and that'd be sweet. And I'll use blood knot tie those two things together. Now I'm just gonna go like a size 12. Oh, I'll do, I'll go a size 12, like parachute-y, mayfly -y kind of looking thing with this orange post. I can't remember what this is called, but it's from Stu Superior Flies and I really like them. I've been using them a couple of seasons now and um, they're super cool. Catch fish and that orange post is really, really easy to see. Pretty sure there's a link in the description below. I'll make sure there is, check these out. Double Davy knot, take into the hip pack. And you know what to start with? I'm just gonna put that on as a transport flight. I will probably add a dropper to that. But um, for now, I'm just gonna find a fish and work it out from there. Had yep. to be. Yep. Had to be. Nice. See ya. Nice one, brother. Nice one. Yeah. That's a good fish. Solid start, bro. Oh, nice. Solid start. Yeah, boy. Good shot, bro. That's a cool fish, man. Start. Really nice fish, man. Jeez. Good job. Uh, just one drift up the water we couldn't really see into with a dry dropper and just nailed it. A good fish, like good five, five to six pound fish at a water like that. Whoa, doesn't Beautiful. get any better. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I can see a fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like a rainbow. There you are. Can we were a bit close on the inside. Did I just spook him? Maybe. Oh, 
Yeah, here we go. There he is. Another good fish. Oh, 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 into that. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> My fly line's under this rock. Oh, no. Oh, no, I got him. I got him. Or well, have I? Oh, I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> Two. Jesus carnage, man. Nothing's easy. I don't know what state my line's in now after going through those rocks. It's a strong fish, man. Dude, I cannot turn it. Dude. Yeah. My line isn't. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, he's either super strong or he's just not hooked quite in the mouth or something. It's just so hard to turn. Or maybe it's just super strong. Okay. It's been one of the stronger fish I've uh, fought for a while, man. Oh. Woo! Yeah man, that's an epic fish. Epic fish. fishing I was about to start fishing the top of this pool and then I saw that fish just kind of ghost into view and out uh, and then like where one good drift and he hammered it and that was such a strong fish as well there's really lots of big deep water and boulders down here almost like coral bommies and he was just in and out of those giving us the run around that was cool all right day done yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah let's go let's get out of here <laughs> so, yeah, I reckon just be as in position and ready as you can be if we see something roll into view, you can just like, yeah, a little roll cast out there and you might see it. Might not be a bad idea just to have it out just, there. Yeah. You can always just pick it up and reposition if you see something. Yeah. At least our flies are out there flapping around and getting deep as they can be. Well, you know, it's not a bad little drift. And they are cruising around down there, so. So, we're gonna do the non-lazy thing, do the correct thing to do. We're gonna change over to a nymph rig. Um, just so we can get some heavier flies down a bit deeper, cover that water, then we can move on. Um, yeah, it's just changing over to a New Zealand strike indicator system. Small indicator with the small tubing. Easy and effective. Yep. Nice. And that's how it works. Yeah, buddy. Take the time to change, eh? That's a cool take. Yeah. It was actually very cool so we sat there kind of for a while fishing with a dry dropper and then kind of decided that we shouldn't be lazy and we should change over do the right thing change over to a nymph rig something heavier indicator and then pretty much well first cast first cast, first cast. so just goes to show don't be lazy if you think you should change it you probably should change it 
so change it. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that guy. Oh, good stuff. That'll do it. Yeah, it should do it. Coming over him about now. Yeah, the rainbow's gonna get it. Got it. <laughs> of course he is. Oh, that's actually not that little. <laughs> yeah, I was just it down Yeah, fair enough. Oh, oh he bust no. me off. Yeah. After all that. Yeah, man. Why? I feel, yeah, I think he bust me off on something on the bottom. Aye, that was a good fish. So that was a bit of a bummer. Um, good rainbow came over, ate my fly, and it was all starting to happen. And then he cut me off on something on the bottom. And I lost a lot. So it's a retie. But it's okay. Barbs are crushed. They'll drop out real quick. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to give them the dry. Should find that. It's a bit far in front of him, but he should find it. Here we go. No, kicking forward, having a look. No. Look at him track it. Oh wait. No. You cheeky bastard. I wonder if that was drag. You should have seen that land. Here we go. No, rejected. Yeah, I put a dropper on. You watch, I put the dropper back on and let it dry. Yeah. Take it into the hip back. Oh, where's my finger? Where is he? Straight out in front of you, too. Oh, yeah. It's too far, but he'll see it. He'll find it. Here we go. Get ready, get ready. <laughs> That was cool. Watch the mouth go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, it's a cool fish. Running around that rock. Not quite ready yet. It's a great colour on him. Yeah. Cool jaw. Nice. Nice, brother. Well cool done. fish. Boom. That's cool. Yeah, bro. We like that fish. He's got character. Okay, you ready? Nice. Put the dropper on, because he was, he was looking at the dry fly, but kind of like rejecting it. So it could be a size issue. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> could be a drag issue. So yeah, put the dropper on, and then yeah, just came over, saw the mouth go, um. Good job. Um, and that was like a little size 16 pheasant taily thing. Just twitched. Just, yeah, he just swum back up past your flies now. Oh, it's turning. Mm. Oh, I've got a fish mid water und underneath me. Oh, he's kicking forward for something. Oh! <laughs> that was cool to watch, though. Get ready. Yep. Nice, brother. Oh. oh. Ooh, it might be a little bit far, but it's okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, it's just as well because we spooked the fish we were fishing to. <laughs>
especially over the back there, on the other side of that car. And I'll try and be sneaky and get to him from here. Got him. A bit of a skinny up there. That's okay. Getting into this foot. Almost. Almost. Nice one, bro. Nice one. Okay, so that was a little bit of a skinnier fish, but hey man, we'll take it. Every fish is a good fish in our book, and a kind of coolie anyway. So I think we're gonna get out of here now. Just, uh, we had a good day, what, six fish each? No, six fish between us, eh? not each, which is brilliant. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment in the comment section below, and all that good stuff. So see you later, the brother. And uh, have a great weekend. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.